And we welcome you back to North Texas, game two of our doubleheader here on TBS. A contingent of Florida Gulf Coast fans making the trip from Fort Myers. And they say, Dunk City has come to Cowboy Stadium. The Eagles have emerged as the Cinderella team in the tournament. America's team for, well, a week. It's the Eagles of Florida Gulf Coast, the first number 15 seed to advance to the regional semifinals. And it's an all sunshine state affair as they meet up with the number three seed in the South region, the Florida Gators. Hi, everybody. Marvin. Florida Gulf Coast, as you are all aware, out of Fort Myers, Florida, from the Atlantic Sun Conference. And, Marv, they are all about tempo and action and being aggressive with everything that they do, looking to score in the half court with penetration and kickouts. And for Florida, this is about controlling tempo and keeping Florida Gulf Coast under wraps in transition. Homer played by Rosario. Knight set the pick, Comer with the ball fight, and he's capable of scoring in double figures. Scotty Wilbekin committing the foul on Comer. Passer, right back up, watching the college game this year. Wilbekin gets it in. Murphy. Comer with the lead out. Here's Thompson. And that's why, if you're Florida, you have to get good shots. Murphy had to take that shot, but at the end of the shot clock, you get a, a bounce off the rebound, off the rim, and all of a sudden it's a fast break at the other end. Wilbekin going high off. Open shot for Thornton. Kept alive, Patrick Young, who averages 10 points a game. He goes 6'9", about 250. And I think for Florida, if they can contain the Eagles, if they can contain tempo as Fuller lines up a three and knocks it down almost every possession. So you'll see a lot of mismatches to see if Florida is able to take advantage. They come it up on Murphy, and he throw it away. Cole with the steal. It's a three on one. He lays it in. <laughs> For Sherwood Brown. Thompson got picked off. Rosario. Frazier, who just checked in. Rosario coming up short, rebounded by Thompson. Well, he's doing a pretty nice job offensively. They're just knocking down, not knocking down any shots at this point. Bernard Thompson from downtown. He shoots just under 40 from three-point land. And look at this, Florida Gulf Coast off to a 12-4 start with an 8-0 run. A bounce pass picked off by Feeler. Feeler for three. Yes. Timeout, Florida. The championships at Winter Park, Florida. Prior to that, they won a national AAU championship when they were just 10, a feat they duplicated when they were 17. Homer had a difficult senior year when his father passed away from cancer. He says without the support of Austin's father, Doc Rivers, the coach of Boston, and his wife, Chris, he wouldn't be here today. Huh? And what a start for Comer. Come on for Florida. Let's pray they're with it. Shot clock to 10. Wilbekin gets inside. Rebounded by Brown. The matchup zone giving Florida some problems. Here's Comer to the rim. And it's put home on the follow. Florida Gulf Coast has hit six of eight from the field to open things up. Kept alive by Brown. Rebounded by again. This is Prather to the rim. Casey Prather. That's his foul trouble in the second half. Rosario rims out. Prather is there. Five days to prepare for a team, <laughs> obviously. Four for 20 here at the start. And 0 for 5 from the three-point line. I think their strategy was sound, Marv. Sometimes in this game, it just comes down to making shots. And the Gators just haven't been able to do so. 
And in their last game, Florida very successful coming out with the uh, press against Minnesota. That's a three. Key erupting as if they are actually astonishing themselves. Worthington able to get to the rebound. That's a three-point attempt, and it pops home. These guys down. Just keep working the ball, get good shots, make stops. And grind them out as the 40 minutes wear on. Nice ball movement. And the end result, Michael Frazier again. That was the eighth offensive rebound for Florida in this half. And it's just a huge edge down there, particularly for you get and Young. And here's Young, and it's put home. Mike Rosario out of Jersey City, New Jersey. Here's Wilberton getting into the lane of the game. Homer. That may be the key to this game going forward for Gulf Coast, their, their ability to just battle on the glass. Oh, nice play you get with that steal. Rosario, yes! Mike Rosario. The tempo of the game has completely changed. We haven't seen a transition opportunity for them in a long, long time. Maradell with the lob gets it inside, but they pop it back out. Shot clock to five. Brown had it slapped away. Rosario lost it. Rosario able to get it back. Boynton, it counts. In the Kenny Boynton, the active S of Prather made a difference. You get did a good job off the board. Florida Gulf Coast in the blue, in control as this second half gets underway. Sherwood Brown, Brett Comer, Chase Fielder. A little different look from the Florida defense with that zone. And again, Florida Gulf Coast has some trouble getting an open look. Yes! The offense is following suit. Committed by Rosario wheels it down, takes the return, and hits. Boynton moves it across. All those transition hits that we saw from the Eagles early have been completely nullified. Wilkin coming up with air. There's Comer. Loops it and the play. Here's some pressure shown by the Gators. As I mentioned earlier, this worked at the start of the game against Minnesota the other day. It did not work. Just to capture some momentum and take advantage of the, the fact that they're kind of back in it a little bit. Michael Frazier back on the floor, hit the two threes. Two shots in the first half. James not able to hit, but the follow by Rosario. Right half remaining, second half. They have a nine-point lead. Point gets it down low. And Patrick... Smith, each of them back on the floor. Brown off the head fake on Frazier. Gets inside and banks it home. He's keeping the ball moving. And defensively, his ability to, to guard different positions, flying to the ball. Nice feeler freeing himself up. Nice move there. That's his first bucket since the first half. Well, the Duke Blue Devils advance with a 10-point victory. Seth Curry, 29 points. Probably the best shooter in the country. He's just got a gorgeous stroke. Seems to run in the family. And layups we're not seeing, and as a result, not seeing the joy on that sideline. Nice play on the inbounds, and Brown able to put it home. Scotty Wilberkin moves it across. I don't know if he was on truth serum when he said that, but uh, Scotty said if he were not playing for Florida, he'd be rooting for Florida. <laughs> Gulf Coast Prather with a nice jump. 1887. Unbelievable run for the Friars. That was uh, a team that went all the way to the Final Four. Remember, that was the year Keith Smart shot beat Syracuse in the championship game. Fielder tried to get inside, had it knocked away. Wilbekin on the run, goes all the way. And the tip is put home. Playing the clock. Five and a half remaining. Now the shot clock to five. 
point, not able to hit the runner. Murphy missing on a funnel, and here comes Brown. Good possession, though, for Florida, using clock, getting an offensive rebound, now getting back in transition. Palmer got the pick from Murray. Palmer in the lane, flips one home. Wilbekin probing. Murphy gives it right back. Wilbekin crowd wanted to travel, but he scores. Nice. Just the, the depth and intensity of the Florida defense is taking the score. Murray stopped by Young. Nice pass. Welcome back to Cowboys Stadium. The Gators are leading by nine, and with me, two-time national champion Joakim Noah of the Gators. Looking at this year's team, I know you don't want to see him a lot, but in person, what impresses you most? No, it just feels great to be able to come back and, and watch the game. We're playing well right now. A rough start, but, um, you know, it's looking good for us right now. Like everybody else, you got to get caught up in the Florida Gulf Coast phenomenon and how well they were playing, the Cinderella team. No, I'm not too worried about Cinderella's. We gotta handle our we gotta handle our business right now. Um, you know, I, I like the way we're playing. We're playing real physical. We just gotta end this, close this out, and go to the Elite Eight. Keep moving. Earlier this week, you knocked off the Miami Heat in their 27-game winning streak. What was the significance of ending that streak? It was huge, man. A lot of guys stepped up. Uh, my boy Jimmy Butler, he's here, showing love for the Gators. Get a stop! No stop there. Another dunk for Doug City. Back to you, Mark. A little coaching from the <laughs> sideline from uh, Joe Kudor. And as many as 12. We're down to three minutes, 11 seconds. But free throws, 52-43 for the Gators. Homer making the turn. Brown pulls it back. Nice move. And hits. Sherwood Brown. Good execution. From Gulf Coast really getting some good ball movement. And then the finish from Brown off that step through dribble. That was well, Seth Rogan's kicking off Conan Live from Atlanta. Monday. And I'll make that second one. We'll get the defense all set. Came after it, so there's no foul. And Rosario will put it in play. Rosario. What a move. He deflected it off a Florida Gulf Coast player and went the distance. To turn you back, you get in trouble here yeah, on the inbound. Foul is called on Florida Gulf Coast. And again, Gators able to use the clock and this magic run coming to a close for the Eagles of Florida Gulf Coast. Man, was it fun while it lasted. It wasn't just winning a couple of games as a 15 seed. It was the way they did it. It's to the Elite Eight. That's been a, a regular stop and 15 in this run so far. Slaughter will advance to the Elite Eight for the seventh time since back in 1985. And three in a row. That's a three. Uh, Frazier knocking down a couple of threes. The, the, Thirteen points for Wilbekin. Aradell with a step. Rosario loops it down low. So you get with his first field goal. And it will be the Gators of Florida going up against the Wolverines of Michigan in the Elite Eight on Sunday here at Cowboy Stadium in North Texas. So the Sunshine State Showdown goes to the Gators of Florida, the final 62 to 50. Coming up next on TBS, it is March Madness presented by Buick for Steve Kerr and Craig Sager and the rest of the crew. Marv Albert saying good night from just outside Dallas, Texas. You've been watching the men's NCAA basketball tournament.